These right here are Soundcore's newest ear clip buds, the C40i. I've never had the predecessors, but I've used and tested almost all of the other competitors. Let's start from the get-go. You're getting something in the box that is quite different. You're getting a pair of ear grips to attach to make them fit even more snug to your ears. Now when I say even more, I actually mean it. These sit quite tightly around my ears even without the grips. Much more than any other clip earbuds that I've tested so far. I can definitely feel them for around 10 minutes until my ears have adjusted to the pressure. Putting them on is the same as with all the other ones. You just clip them on and then slide them down until they reach your ear canal. They have Bluetooth 5.4, they are IPX4 rated so you, you can use them in light rain and they also feature a 3D sound. Um, yeah, but I don't think this is worth it, especially in terms of boosting sound quality, since 3D sound is mostly just an alteration of a sound profile through software. Now when it comes to comfort, after the first 10 minutes I find them really comfortable. They only weigh roughly 6 grams per ear clip, which is nothing and is the same as with almost all newer in-ear earbuds. The design is grippy enough for my ears, the clamping force is good and every time I wear them in public people look and begin staring, which could be a German thing. And it's quite interesting since these do have quite the metal scene kind of looks from the front, especially the graphite version. Design wise I like them. The one button functionality is good, but to be honest while testing these I almost never used a singular button on any of the two ear clips. But pushing it? It felt really good. Now battery life on these is quite good as well. 7 hours for single charge and 21 hours in the case you get another 2 hours with 10 minutes of charging. The case itself is fast charging but there is no wireless charging included which uh, it's really a shame. And then, as the last feature, we do have multipoint, which works well between two devices. I tested it with multiple phones and my MacBook. Now let's get to the most important part. How is the sound quality? How good do these sound? And to my surprise, these actually sound really well. Well, mostly, and for ear clip buds. But let me explain. Since these aren't inside your ears, you can clearly hear everything around, which is the purpose of these type of earbuds. This of course inherits the problem of not delivering enough bass. But for an ear clip bud, these have a bit of bass that adds to the overall sound quality and the experience. I tested them with various music genres and everything that was positioned, well, more to the mids, sounded better. This especially goes for podcasts and voice heavy music. Also, electronics, well produced electronics, sounds pretty good. What does not work is not so well produced metal, these lack what makes it sound full. Well produced metal, of course, as every music sound good. But as always, here for yourself, uh, here's an audio recording for everyone who wants to listen to these earbuds. We don't need scars just to know we're human. We can let the world just tell us and light ourselves up and we're out of love. All of my love in me was an illusion.
Conclusion, I like them almost as much as the Huawei free clip. Sound quality is on par with them, comfortness is great, they cost under $100 and the battery life keeps them going for a while and the whole workday. So these get my recommend. So these actually get my recommendation. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Elite and I'm off writing the next scripts. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe to this channel. There are plenty more of this type of content and of course, many other things available for you to watch. Have a great day. See you around and goodbye.